Hi there, we're down here at Manatee Springs. Now I know when you see our manatees swimming around, they look like they're in slow motion, but believe it or not, this is one of the most dynamic exhibits at the zoo because the animals don't just stay here, they're part of an important conservation and rescue program. We're here with Wynton Ray, who's our curator at the zoo, and tell us a bit, you know, every couple of years we see new manatees here, and that's true yeah. of not many of our animals. So we are part of the Manatee Rescue Rehabilitation and Release Program, yeah. the MRP as we like to call it, and it's a program to do just what it says, to rescue orphan or injured or sick manatees, yeah. bring them back to health and then release them back to the wild. It's a neat thing. I know it has some expense involved because we have to fly them all the way to Florida. And yeah. Down. But why do they need to be rescued? So manatees uh, previously were an endangered species. Mm -hmm. Now they're currently listed as threatened. Mm -hmm. A population of between about six and 8,000 throughout Florida. Which is amazing because there were only about 1,000 when I was a kid growing up. Yeah, it's a remarkable comeback story. And the MRP is just one sort of tidbit of that rescue or that mm -hmm. um, conservation effort. And it's a great program because as you said, most zoo animals born in a zoo are gonna live out their lives in a zoo and ultimately die in a zoo. But with the MRP and our involvement, we get to bring manatees to, all the way to Cincinnati, Ohio, help them get healthy, help them get strong, and then send them back to Florida and they will ultimately go back to the wild. Okay, so we've got four right now. We do. And they came here small, but they're growing up. They, uh, yes, why, very much. Why were they sent to be saved? So, in October of 2017, we received four young male, ma or three young male manatees. Mm -hmm. They were all orphaned at a very young age, probably only a day or two old. In April of 2018, they were joined by Daphne, our lone female. Daphne had been struck by a boat. Her and her mother were struck by the same boat. Unfortunately, her mother succumbed to her injuries. And just being about a year old, Daphne was still too young to be able to survive in the wild. So Daphne arrived here in April of 2018 and weighed about 255 pounds. Yeah. Right now she weighs about 630 pounds. So she's grown quite a lot since she's been at the Cincinnati Zoo. So once they get to a little bigger, what, 700 pounds, so we'll fly so back? So at least 600 pounds is the okay, weight that yeah. these young, naive animals will need to be. They will be released at the end of winter, so they spend a little bit of time in one of those warm water overwintering sites. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll just disperse, as all manatees do, and okay. hopefully next fall, next winter, that instinct to migrate back into a warm water uh, place will kick in and, and they'll be just fine. Now, these orphans, obviously, that means their moms are killed. Yes. Uh, I assume from Could boat be. strikes? Could be. You know, you never, with Daphne, obviously, we know what happened to her mother. Um, one of our, her, our manatees is named Matthew because he was found smack dab in the middle of Hurricane Matthew. So it's oh. possible that during that storm, yeah. he and his mother got separated. That's amazing. But it seems like an awful lot of manatees do end up dying each year. I don't know, either from boats or cold stress or whatever. And how come that's such a big number? Well, it's a big number because of the huge number of uh, tourists and people on boats and things in the state of Florida. There's just a lot of interaction for such a large mammal. When you think about grizzlies in the United States, you think of them mostly in the western United States mm -hmm. and in areas that aren't very populous, mm -hmm. whereas uh, more than 100 million tourists go to Florida every oh. year. They don't all end up at Disney and World. They Some of them, a boat. Yeah. they all go to, bo they want to be on boats, they want to be on jet skis, and Florida just is a very populous state, and you have a lot of very large animals in, living in close proximity with a lot of humans and a lot of human activity. Well, this is a neat program, and people sure love these manatees, and it sounds like they may be flying out this fall or winter. Yeah, we're, we're looking for the fall. We're just sort of finalizing the details now, and uh, three of our four manatees have made weight, so three of them will go back, and they'll be joined okay. by another young man. The, the manatee that stays behind will be joined by another young manatee that we'll bring up. I'm telling you. Well, it's good work. Thanks for doing it. The next time you're at the zoo, make sure to come to Manatee Springs. It's always changing, and it's a neat conservation success story.